Hey guys, Bill here, Catch22. So I've got a couple of exciting unboxings for you guys today. I'm excited to show you guys these particular orders. So one of the companies that I'm going to be working with this year is X-Zone Lures. Now they primarily do plastics. Now I was turned on to them halfway through the season last year. I was doing a uh, tackle warehouse order and you know you kind of got to hit those price points to get some free swag from them. So uh, I was adding stuff to my cart and they had some plastics on sale. As a matter of fact, I think I have it here. I do indeed. This is one of the plastics that I ordered from them. This is a killer drop shot bait. This drop shot bait is called the Shiver Shad. This particular color is Lime Shad and I did wonderfully, wonderfully with that bait. So um, I reached out to X-Zone, said I really enjoyed your product. Is it possible that we can work together in the coming season? And they said yes. So I'm on their pro staff team for 2018 and I'm pretty excited to show you guys what I've ordered. So the first thing in the box is the one inch baller. I got it in chartreuse pepper and this is a panfish plastic. Take a gander there. I'm hoping maybe I could use this ice fishing, but definitely during the warmer months as well. Next we have some more shiver shed. This, this one comes in dirty gum. You can see that color right there. That is going to be a smallmouth killer. I'm telling you right now, guys. I don't know what it is. Smallmouth love pink. And that right there is going to be awesome. That's, that, that, that's going to be a really cool bait. Smallmouth are going to eat this up. Next, we have a fat slammer. It's in green pumpkin with black flake and a chartreuse tail. It's really cool. You're going to see that uh, that their coloring is a little more dynamic than the average uh, bait company. Uh, this is also a drop shot bait. And this is their larger drop shot bait, hence uh, the fat. They have a regular slammer and they have a slim slammer as well. This one here is their regular slammer and this is a goby crush. Again, this is going to be a small mouth killer, guys. You can see on this side right here, you've got a bit of a, a watermelon and a lot of different flake. You've got you've got black flake, you've got gold flake, you've got uh, purple flake as well. So if you take a gander real close, hopefully you guys can see that. And then underneath, you've got like a translucent belly that has a hint of purple in it. Tell me. Tell me this isn't going to catch fish where you're at. If you're fishing the Great Lakes area, you have gobies in your water, this is a perfect goby imitation. Ugh. I would set this up drop shot with a shorter leader so that way the weight can mimic something that this goby is chasing. So all that action and commotion that it's going to create on the bottom is going to make a smallmouth think that this goby is feeding on something and it's going to create a reaction strike. I'm telling you. Oh. Uh, next we have another panfish bait here. This is hot orange pink and it's a two inch stinger. Take a look right there guys. Like I said they're a little uh, more dynamic with the coloring of their baits and that's pretty exciting for me. Here we have the Slim Slammer. It's a smaller version of their regular Slammer. Um, and this is in smoke with purple and gold flake as well as a purple tinge to the belly of the bait. This is for those high pressure days. Really cool. Now these baits are exciting guys. What I've got here is a slammer craw. This is black and blue. And these are hand poured baits mind you. So you've got these craw imitations. You've got a completely blue bottom with some flake and then black bodies poured on top and the very cool thing about their craws guys is that these pinchers here they're buoyant they float so when you're resting your jig that craw is going to come up just like that into that defensive stand and if there's a little bit of current or a little bit of motion it's going to sit there 
It's going to wiggle. It's going to have that defensive stance. And, oh, reaction bike, guys. You could also use these for punching. If you take a look at that body, it's got a perfect profile for punching. Very versatile bait. So this one here is the black and blue. Got another pack here. What did I get? I got uh, green pumpkin and blue. So again, up top, completely green pumpkin. And then when you flip it over, the body of it is blue. I'm, I love their color. I've got some tubes here, really nice. The color here is called Gobi Punch, and if you take a look, it's got that watermelon color to the body with uh, black and orange and purple flake, maybe some red flake there. And then these tentacles here are clear. I've got some more tubes. This one's the Beetlejuice color. Really cool color, actually, guys. So if you take a look here, it's got that green pumpkin with red and green flake, a ton of flake actually. But if you look at the other side of them, they're, they have black bottoms. So very cool, another dual colored bait from them. Okay, we've got their swim bait here. It's called the Swammer. And the color here is Silver Shiner. If you take a look at the bottom, you've got that translucent plastic, tons of uh, silver flake. And then the tops of them are nice uh, solid black. So I'm excited to use that. Some more swammers here. This one's called Lime Shad. The bottoms, nice uh, bright lime color with the flake. And then the bags have this green pumpkin color, but they also have like this, I'm hoping you can see that. It's got like an iridescent blue to it. Really killer color. This is the same color of that drop shot bait I showed you at the beginning. Very neat. I've got some muscle craws, peanut butter and jelly. This is their this comes from their Pro series. This is no longer hand poured. Super salty and super soft, trigger more strikes, catch more fish. I think we all want to do that. More muscle craws. This one in the black and blue. Now once again it's a dual color body, blue on the bottom, black on top with blue flake through it. This is their Punisher Punch Craw and I got this in Okeechobee. So it's uh, green pumpkin on one side, blue on the other, blue flake, black flake. This will be a killer punching bait. And you gotta order stick baits. You gotta order stick baits. So this is their true center stick. So this bait has that flat area in the middle, just like any other stick bait, but it also has a dead center marked out. So it's perfect center for, you guessed it, wacky rigging. You can see on the packaging. So you can see right here they have a designated area for wacky rigging. It's called the Wacky Zone, which is exclusive to X-Zone stick baits. So that's really cool. And really thoughtful on their part. Um, I got six inch MB Fat Finesse Worms in the Summer Craw color. So again, it's like, it's kind of similar to that Lime Shad, but it's green pumpkin with black flake and a, a lime chartreuse bottom to them. More stick baits. This is a really, really neat color. It's called Dirty Shad. It's got like a green pumpkin top with a, a clearer bottom. It gives it that goldeny color. It's got gold flake and I believe orange and black flake as well. And it's called Dirty Shad. I thought that was a really cool color. Um, watermelon black and red flake. Can't go wrong with that. That's all my plastics. And then a nice new sticker for the boat. I'm super excited to be working with X-Zone. It's a product that I got turned on to last year. It caught me a lot of fish and I really enjoyed it. And I really can't wait for spring now. I really want to get out on the water 
and uh, put some of these other baits to the test. Big shout out to X Zone Lures. Really exciting stuff. Their drop shot baits are tried and true with me, and I'm super pumped to try everything else out. They've got some really dynamic colors and designs. I really think the fish are going to go nuts for this. Those are my X Zone plastics for 2018. I'm excited to get another order in actually. They just released a creature bait that looks pretty killer, but uh, they released it after I placed my order, so I didn't get any. Anyways. Uh, this one is also of one of my new sponsors. It's actually the sister company of X Zone Lures. They're called the Rod Glove. I'm pretty sure you guys have heard of them already. It's a wonderful product to protect your higher end fishing gear. We spend enough money on our gear to where we should be protecting that investment. The Rod Glove does that. Receipt. So they're just little sleeves that go over your rod. And it protects the guides. It helps you with rod organization and it prevents you from getting tangles. Now they create a a uh, few other products too. There's a sleeve that goes over your rod. There's um, there's sleeves that go over your reels. And then there's sleeves that just go over where you might hook your bait. So that way you don't have all those hooks out and exposed to catch on to things. But uh, I ordered some casting rod gloves. I ordered some spinning rod gloves. Got myself a Rod Glove t-shirt. And of course, a new sticker for the boat. But this doesn't say what the material is. It seems to be like a very stiff nylon, but I'm not sure. But what it does say is that it's UV resistant, it's mold and mildew resistant, it's cut and abrasion resistant. Um, it's easy to unhook snagged hooks into this material and it easily goes on and off your rods. It's great for rod lockers, eliminating tangles, and rod organization. I mean, think about it, guys. We're taking out several rods every time. Things can get tangled up. It comes in all kinds of colors, but uh, this just goes over the tip of your rod. You slide it all the way down and it's protecting your guides. It's protecting your rod. So this was I think a black and white spider pattern. I got that for my casting rods and then I just got plain graphite for my spinning rods. Just a little helpful just being able to grab what I need just by looking at the color. So if you have nicer fishing equipment, I strongly recommend protecting it. You gotta protect your investment. It's silly to put all that money into into your rods and not protect them in some way. And I believe these are like $5.99, $6.99. It's not expensive. Yeah, a casting rod sleeve is $5.99. Spinning rod is $7.99 a little more material that they need. So yeah, the Rod Glove guys, it's a useful product. Like I said, it's protection for your rods, your reels, your baits. You can get Rod Gloves that are Technique labeled. For instance, your Drop Shot, or your Cranking Rod, or your Punching Rod. It'll read right onto the Rod Glove so that way you open up your Rod Locker and you see exactly what you need and you grab what you want. So really cool. I'm happy. I'm happy to be a part of the team. X Zone Lures, the Rod Glove. Gonna be a nice 2018, guys. I hope you guys dug this video. I got hope you guys got something out of it. This is Catch 22. I'm Bill. And I'll catch you out on the water.